<laughs> oh snap. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, yo. Hey, it's Junior, and I am back at it with another mural project. This time around, I'm doing a mural for my boy, Daryl Mays. He just bought a house, and I am about to do some massive work on this entire wall. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So one thing I'm gonna be doing is mapping out this wall with a grid before I start painting. I had no idea that I was gonna start doing it this way. I really wanted to do a doodle grid where you just mark up the entire wall using different shapes and different like markings. And then what you do is you will layer over your design over that wall and you lower the opacity. So now that we got the grid lines up, I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing my outline using the grids and using those intersections. Here we go, first time. First time for everything. So I'm officially done with day one. I am gonna head home for the night. I really don't wanna burn myself out. I did wanna stay and finish out the outline, but there's just no way that I'm gonna do it. And if I did, I'm gonna be staying here till 1 a.m. and it's already 9 p.m. So remember, don't burn yourself out whenever you're doing the mural. Take care of your health, take care of your mental health, because you're gonna get more projects like this. And this is just one of many. This is a little sneak peek of the outline and I am slowly but surely getting done with it. So tomorrow I'll be done with the outline and we'll see if we'll start painting. So I finally got the outline complete and now I'm moving on to the background. But before I start painting the background, I'm gonna have to tape off some of the parts that I don't want paint to get on and I don't wanna lose my lines. So now that I finished all the taping, now I'm gonna be able to paint all of the background and yeah, let's just get to it. When Daryl came to me with this mural project, I was so excited about it. I had a little bit of doubt just because I had no idea how I was going to accomplish this project because of so many obstacles with not using a projector and having to grid out the wall somehow in some way. In this mural project, I learned so much about my abilities, my skills, and just being there for my friend and allowing me to tell his story from the beginning to where he's at now and to ultimately where he's going. And if you don't know Daryl, Daryl is somebody who has really worked his way to being the YouTuber that he is today. And not just the YouTuber, but the person that he ultimately is and is becoming. And for him to allow me to tell his story in this manner is truly an honor. This is a story that I was able to replicate using designs and using other features to show where he's from, which is Charlotte, North Carolina, and to how life is moving him in his direction to his throne and to what he wants to do ultimately in his life. And what makes Daryl so humble is that he doesn't really know what he wants to do ultimately, but he knows that he's in the right direction. And that's making people laugh. That's making people feel better and feel good. And that's his foundation and that's what he wants to do. And allowing me to show that and to represent his story is truly a blessing. What's up folks? We are back for day, I have no idea. I lost count. I think it's day six, seven. I, I have no idea. 
But as you can see, I got a lot of the mural done. I have a lot more to do. I wanted to work this mural out in phases where I can complete it at a certain timeline. With this one, I'm gonna be taking my time just because I don't wanna rush it. I want it to come out as best as possible. And this is like, I think this is one of my biggest murals I have ever completed. So I wanna make sure that this mural comes out just like I wanted to. And I wanna, you know, just take my time with it. So we're back for whatever day it is and let's get started. We are at the final stretch of our journey of completing this mural. <sighs> I've never worked on a mural for this long. I can possibly be done today, so we'll see. We'll take it from here day by day, moment by moment. Not sure where we at, but I have an optimistic feeling that we will be completing this mural today. So let's get started. completed the mural. Let's go get Daryl to see what he thinks. He hasn't seen it yet, so let's go get him. Yo, bro. Hey. You wanna come in here for, for a second? Yeah. Oh, my bad, you feel me? No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Which way, though? This way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yo, what? Yo, it's finished? It's finished. Yo, what? Yeah, bro. Yo, <laughs> that is so fire, dude. <laughs> oh my God, yo. What you think, bro? Yo, that is amazing, bro. <laughs> Dang, that's so this, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, yo. Dang, Junior. Yo, that looks amazing, Junior. Like, this thing is amazing. Thanks, bro. Yo, that, this crown, like, the detail in that shit is so wild. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, this, this is fire, G. This is fire, bro. Thanks, bro. This right here is, man. I can't believe I pulled it off. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> Probably my best mural I've ever done. Man, yo, this came out so fire. Yeah, bro, I'm hyped for this one. Wow, man. Dang. And that's a wrap. I really hope you like the mural. Here's some art tips for you to take away whenever you're working on your next mural. So whenever you're working on a mural, make sure you know exactly how you want to pan this out. Just because you never know what you're going to encounter. You're definitely going to encounter obstacles and that is okay. This is how you learn and grow as an artist. But do not give up. Just keep going, keep trying to figure it out, and I promise you, once you do, it's gonna be so rewarding. So if you wanna see more art process videos and art tips just like this one, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos coming out.